Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Unboxed, Watched and Reviewed. Now today's episode is a really special episode because it's another recommendation episode. So what movie was recommended to me? Well let's take a look back and find out. Ready to see what it is? Alright. I will walk like a crazy horse. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I will walk like a crazy horse. I wanted to see this a few years ago, but it completely slipped my mind and I just overlooked it. And then the person who told me to watch Coming Soon suggested this one and I said, oh yeah, that movie. I don't remember why in the hell I wanted to see this. In fact, it was, it was in my cart for a long, long time. Um, but I never got it. But had I known that this movie is as fucked up as it is, I would have ordered it a long time ago. Who's ready to watch this? <laughs> Are we ready? Play movie. All right, now this director is supposed to be great. So the movie begins with a fake news broadcast for the hearing impaired. There's a woman doing sign language in front of these images and the images get more and more fucked up as the newscast goes on. Oh, now they're showing ugh, bloated babies getting stuck with needles. So if that's not horrific enough to open up the movie, shortly after we get a shot of... Now they got a kid in a, a nest. Oh! For those who want to see the close-up of a little boy's penis, Watch this movie, and it's not only just a close-up, but the penis has needles going through it and fake blood smeared around it. Now that sounds a little fucked up. So this movie, believe it or not, is about something. It's about a convict who's on the run, so he runs to the middle of the desert where nobody can find him. So Inspector Gay, which should be easy to remember, wants to find the guy who's in the desert for whatever reason. Aiden climbs up a hill and he sees a little guy standing there. So he watches him. He's peeking over, observing a guy. Now he's eating sand. Oh, he's eating mouthfuls of sand. Come on down, I'm alone, he said. You are welcome here. Want to share my meal? The sand? So the two hang out for a long time and Aiden ends up crashing at Marvel's little cave he has in the desert. And it's in that cave where Aiden has more dreams, flashbacks, clues as to what he did. He's laying on a cage and he's having a flashback of him dancing. And then it cuts to him going oh. with this big heart on, sticking out oh. and they're showing it. Oh! And she takes a candle to it uh. and lights it. And there's a fucking wick in it and she lights the motherfucking dick on fire like it's a candle. So that was one dream. And then he has another one. All right, we have a child putting on a crown of thorns. He's peeking in around the corner. Something tells me he's gonna see sex. Yes, he sees a fat butcher fucking a red-haired woman. Must be his mom. Oh, now she's giving him head. They're showing it from behind. Just the man's fat ass and her grabbing it. And, oh, and now a big cum shot all over her face. Blech. And the kid is jerking off kids. The kid's jerking off to this shit. The kid just came. Oh, and he woke up. The next morning, the two eat breakfast and they talk about city life. Marvel has never left the desert. Aiden is just fascinated by Marvel and he wants to share his fascination with other people. I'll take you to a big city. I'll make you very important. Oblivious to the fact that Marvel is clearly happy where he is in the desert, Aiden can't wait to take him to the city. But before they go, they get shit face drunk. Drink this shit. He just said, are you looking at my toenail? I cut it once a year in autumn. And he's got this big ass toenail. I wrap it in a little leaf. I keep it in a sack. Ta-da! Meanwhile, we get more clues from Detective Gay. He says, that son of a bitch, what is this thing? He's holding up a creepy mask. Then it goes back to our duo who are getting ready for the big trip. Ah. 
Uh, uh, um, th okay, uh, well, look at that. Really? Really? Ugh. So it's time to leave the desert. Mimi Siku says goodbye to his bug friends and it's off to the city they go. Marvel is pumped up. He's like, yeah, we're going to the city. I'm getting out of this life. This is the only life I know. He says goodbye, scorpions, camels, snakes, goodbye. So, like any other gay couple, they get an apartment together and Marvel makes a garden inside. And then they see somebody cutting down a tree. And Marvel looks up in it and he sees a naked woman up in the tree and some guy doing weird shit to the lady's mouth. And the man is reaching into her mouth and he just pulled out a tooth. And now he's reaching in. Oh, and he just ripped out her tongue. Then the couple goes to a restaurant. Tea for me. What do you want? A cactus. Okay. One cactus for my friend. I'll bring you two cups of tea. Did you see the way Aiden was so impressed when Marvel ordered the cactus? He just loves him. He's developing a man crush. Marvel explains to Aiden how he can communicate with the animals and the mountains and make them obey him. Oh, Marvel just pointed to a bee and asked for it to bring him a toothpick. Oh, and he said thank you and a toothpick dropped in his hand. Aiden is smitten. He offers him all his money, all his jewels, and says, I'll do anything to make you happy. Aiden said, do you love me? To Marvel. So, they're gay. Flashback to Aiden as a kid. I'm telling you, these flashbacks come out of nowhere, and they're always weird or sexual or something fucked up. Oh. Oh, of course, she's pissing all over herself. So apparently, Aiden has a girlfriend, and he tells her that Marvel is a virgin. And then he says, I want you to make love to him and get him to come. I'll do anything you ask me to, but not make love to a nauseating dwarf. Oh, yeah, smack that bitch. You can beat me, you can kill me, but I'll never sleep with a disgusting midget. She said he could kill her, so he does by slowly throwing her into a table. How dare you, you slut! Yeah, oh. Marvel is approached by a guy who runs the circus. Next thing you know, Marvel's in the circus. And being a... Uh, here he comes, here he is. He's a dancer. And it's Marvel dancing in a cage in boxer shorts. Just dancing like an idiot. You know, a little bit of rhythm. He was very comfortable. So I don't know if this is supposed to be sad, but he was having a good time dancing for those people. He loved it in that cage. Anyway, we go back to Aiden, who's alone in a room, smelling lingerie. And then... Our hero is now putting on a bra. I mean, what in the fuck? What the fuck is this movie? He's dancing again, so I'm gonna show that to you. See, I told you, look at that fucking smile on his face. He's loving it. This is the best time he's had in this whole movie. Dancing around like a motherfucker. What's Aiden doing now? Filthy whore. Breathe deep like a bitch. Love this dialogue. Fornication is all you know. Breathe deep. Remember yourself on all fours with that pig. Breathe deep. More, more. I saw that one coming from a mile away. Him giving birth to a skull in a bathtub, wearing lingerie. I mean, so predictable. Looks like our little motherfucker here is taking a liking to the lion. Marvel, being the idiot that he is, opens up the door to the lion cage and lets the lion out. Then we have more shots of Aiden, who's walking around, talking to himself about how wondrous and lovely Marvel is. He's obsessed. As Marvel is sitting down to count his toenails, Aiden pulls up in his Jeep, and they found each other again. And now they're back together, driving around with the goat. Now that Aiden is in love with Marvel, he no longer wants to hook him up with women. But that doesn't mean Marvel doesn't want to get laid. 
There is a beautiful woman sitting alone at a table giggling girlishly. Aiden says, pay no attention to her. Women are whores. Marvel then does something that shocks the shit out of Aiden. He goes up to her and asks her if she'll marry him. So they're getting married. The goat will perform the wedding. Talk with your feet. I can translate, you know. In a sadness of torn mists. I will walk like a crazy horse. Woo! You title dropping bitch! While salmon glide between our thighs, I will walk like a crazy horse! Oh yeah, show those pussy balls. So she bends down and good old Marvel sticks a flower in her ass. And if that's not enough, he then... Okay. Oh, now he's eating the motherfucking thing. I, I, I suppose that's a chaser. Then it moves on to a little later. I guess Aiden is raping the new wife. Aiden is beating a bitch. The bitch said, do you want to see me naked? So she's opening up her dress. She's showing her boobs. Now she's pulling down her skirt. And the camera's panning down as she... Oh! No, oh my god. It zoomed up. She had a big uncut dick and a ball sack. After showing Aiden her dick and balls, the woman says she has to leave. Then off his wife goes. And then... Oh shit. Aiden got shot. So Marvel picks him up and they start running till eventually they find this barn to hide in. Okay, now we have a close-up of a pissing dick. Now, ugh, now they're uh, squeezing the udders of a cow into his mouth. Oh, now it's showing him with the axe again. We have a flashback which reveals what he did. This must be the murder. And it turns out he killed his mother, I guess. Aiden just told Marvel to dress up like a judge. I killed my mother all by myself, he confesses to Marvel. The accused is sentenced to death. So Aiden becomes almost lifeless, and Marvel puts him on a wheelbarrow and takes him out to the desert where they first met. Oh no, he's not dead. He said, I want you to eat me. Eat me. I want to be both me and you. What is this, fucking Germany? You shall eat all of me, Marvel, do you hear? I was delighted when it took this cannibalistic turn, but even more when Aiden tells Marvel to, You shall dress up like my mother. Like my mother, don't forget. With black stockings and garters. I fucking love this movie. Okay. He's running at Aiden now. He's got the hatchet. Oh, and now he cut off the top of his head and is taking out the brain and eating the brain. Putting on the old mask. He just pulled out the liver and took a real big bite out of it, like a true big bite. And he ate him all the way down to a skeleton which he's now mounting and kissing on the mouth, crying up against the skeleton. He misses his love. <laughs> this is so weird. Marvel then eats one of his toenails and drops to the ground. He's really rolling around on the sand, really dramatically. Ripping at his hair now. Pulling at his beard. Ripping at his hair. Oh. My god, he ripped off his beard and his hair and he fucking turned into Aiden. The sun is superimposed over him and he's spinning up into the orange sky above. And then, and there's the credits. Well, wow, what a weird, crazy, wonderful movie. So, what do I give? I will walk like a crazy horse on a scale of one to five. I give it a five. How could I not? That movie had a little bit of everything in it. It was fucked up, it was crazy, it was not boring at all, and it was absolutely wonderful. I recommend it to each and every one of you guys. You gotta check it out. 
I will walk like a crazy horse. Thanks for watching. See you next time.